Welcome to Fishing Village. Today we will talk about grouper fish. The largest grouper in the Atlantic Ocean is so massive that it can swallow a 4-foot long shark in one gulp and that the noise it creates causes adjacent scuba divers to experience something like to a sonic boom. In large part due to overfishing, Goliath groupers were categorized as severely endangered throughout their range in tropical and subtropical Atlantic waters until 2018. Fishing for the species has been prohibited in Florida, where they are primarily found on reefs around the southern coast, since 1990. Some fun fun facts about grouper fish. Incredibly large fish in this family include the Queensland grouper of Australia and the jewfish of the tropical Atlantic Ocean. Both of these fish can grow to be more than 3 meters long and more than 454 kilograms in weight. Since the Itajra grows so enormous, some people think that it is the source of the term, Jewfish, having swallowed Jonah, the Jewish prophet of the Old Testament. Some enormous groupers have a suction that is strong enough to inhale small prey when they open their jaws to feed. Some groupers may have considerable size as a protection, but they also have the capacity to change the color of their skin. Sometimes this color change is straightforward, such as going from dark to light to mix in with different lighting conditions. The Caribbean Coney exhibits a more sophisticated color change. This fish typically has blue-rimmed black dots on a chocolate brown body. The Caribbean coney will attempt to conceal itself if it feels threatened in a coral crevice, which typically has a white, sandy bottom. This fish changes its color such that its bottom body turns white and it's in order to blend in with its environment, arcings contract to small pinpoints. Other groupers have evolved striped, spotted, or blotchy color patterns that assist them blend in with coral reef areas sandy bottoms. As groupers get older, they could experience sex reversal. Although Mycteropeca interstitialis's yellowmuck groupers are all born female, as they get bigger, they start to turn into males. Because few of them live long enough to mature into males, the vast majority are egg-laying females. What's more unexpected is that a small number of fish of the species Serenus have the unusual ability to be both male and female at the same time. Hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe. Keep watching.